Hey, my name is Shasta. And I'm Andrew. And we are the hosts of Teens on the Scene. We're here at the 135th annual Italian picnic. And the rain is not stopping us from celebrating this awesome event. <laughs> A very traditional Amador County event. And we could not be here if it wasn't for Sierra Baptist Church. They're our sponsors and they like to, us to tell you that on the 4th we're having a 4th of July carnival and from the 6th to the 10th there will be Vacation Bible School. And we will be there too. <laughs> we will be interviewing those too. Yes, without a doubt. Uh, Alright, so yes. let's get going. Yeah, the Wacky Shack. Maybe this isn't the best to do one in front of. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, really loud. We are standing here in front of the Wacky Shack. It's really loud, that's all I have to say about it. Really loud. It looks but like the kids are enjoying they, they look like they're having fun. I guess it's all that's important. Hi. Hi. What's your guys' name? I'm Anthony. I'm Caden. Moses. What's your name? Bella. Is this your first time at the Italian picnic grass? Uh, no, I've never been here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is this like, what do you guys think of this? It's I crazy. Love it. I it's love loud. loud. Very loud, yeah. What about you? Fun. But I, I just love this place. I you always come place? here. Yeah. That's awesome. What what else is your favorite thing to do here? Um, uh, the go on the ride. The silver bullet. I like that one. The silver bullet. And why is that? Uh, cause it goes upside down. We're gonna have to get some shots of you on that. So are you guys all having a good time? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, right. let's go ahead and check right. out that ride. She said it was good. Which one? So what's your name? Macy. And what did you just go on? Silver bullet. Was that fun? Yeah. Was it scary? No. <laughs> How does it feel when you go upside down? It feels like you're uh, in the air for a few seconds and then you just drop down. Well, that sounds like fun. So is that your favorite part? Yeah. yeah. And what have you been enjoying about the Italian picnic today? Um, all the rides. All the rides? Have you been having a good time? Yeah. Is this your first time coming here? <laughs> all right, well, thank you. What? Oh, what did you ask the operator to do? Uh, to stay on for one more ride. <laughs> and we are standing here with two cute little boys who are joining us at the Italian Pikmin Grounds. What's your name? Nico. Nico? And Dylan. Dylan. And is this your guys' first time here at the Italian Pikmin Grounds? Uh, second. Second? And what is your favorite part about this event? Uh, the jumpy house. The jumping house. Awesome. Okay, and what about you? Um, we got. I forgot. I forgot. Do you like the rides the most? Uh, I like the games. The game. Okay. What's your favorite game? Um, my favorite game is the the bat the race car one because um. Because you can win big prizes and um, you can, um, um, if, if you win, you can win a prize. And then um, if you have some more tickets, they can play some more games. That sounds awesome. And Andrew wants to ask you a few questions too. Have you guys been having a good time today? Yes. 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 All right, well, thank you guys. Okay. Just, yeah, keep going. How are we supposed to talk? I'm trying not to drop the mic, so. You're good, you're good. Good? Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at the guy. Here, I'll be on this side. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so cute. You see, are you going to be able to get the camera through here? Wait, wait. I don't want to trip holding the microphone. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm just a little dizzy now. <laughs> what are these? Oh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's so loud. <laughs> that. 
<laughs> Best part right there, that clown at the oh, end. I'm really dizzy. <laughs> so was, was that ride too intense for you? No, not at all. <laughs> I just was having too much fun. Spinning. Too much fun. Spinning? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what is your name? Maddie. Maddie? And what's your name? Lily. Lily. And we're about to go on, I don't know what this ride's what called. What is the name of this ride? Do you know? Do you know? Mm -hmm. No, no. We're gonna go on the spinny umbrella ride, <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy it. So they're gonna try spinning us, right? Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite part about this ride? Uh, it spins. It spins. Okay, I think that she's gonna spin us a lot. <laughs> you better get us to go fast. Yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to have ready? this challenge? Okay. Oh, <laughs> they, just, they just bumped into me. I'm sorry. You're good. Okay. Okay. I asked for. So everybody, Andrew could not actually make it on the ride with me, but he is over there having some fun. Um, <laughs> so I think we're gonna have a spinning contest right now. I don't know how I'm gonna spin and talk, but let's go ahead and do this, guys. Hey, we gotta spin and spin! <laughs> okay, one. Wait, how are you? Hold on, can I go like, can you hear me still? Like, yeah, you can still hear me? Okay, go, 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 go! <laughs> Spinning contest! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! I'm really dizzy! Woo! <laughs> Andrew! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm already. These girls got me! Oh my gosh, they're making me dizzy! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even see anything. <laughs> You know, this try can make you really sick. Oh no. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really dizzy. Oh, I'm really dizzy. <laughs> so, do you think Andrew or us spinned more? Uh, us. It was spun. Yeah. Did they spin more than us? Do you think we won the spinning contest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess we okay. won the spinning contest. You won the spinning contest? I guess. This, I, that's, I, thought that's, we, I thought we were spinning pretty fast. No, I think we were spinning pretty fast. Okay. I was trying to hold the mic while spinning and I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, we couldn't exactly tell when we started or when we stopped because we kept going. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for riding with us. We had a great time. I hope you guys did too. And I totally won the spinning contest. Okay. Just an FYI. I think we won the spinning contest still, but no, no, you no. can think whatever you so want. You want to play some basketball against me? I'm sure. I don't think I'll be that good, but I can try. Well, I think I will love to feel accomplished for a second. Okay. Okay, you ready? I believe in you. Yeah. See? <laughs> All right, now. Gear shot. <laughs> no, that was skill. That was skill. <laughs> I, I did. I, yeah, definitely skill. Definitely skill. I love your pretty face. Where, where did you get a dinner? Over there. Over there. So, are you a fairy? Yeah. Or a goddess? Uh, I think the fairy. A fairy. Well, I think you make a very pretty fairy. So, uh, have you been having a good time today? Yeah. Is this your first time being here? Yeah. No. Is this one of your favorite rides? Favorite yeah. attractions? Yeah. Uh, have you been on any of the other rides? Um, yes. Which ones? That one, that one, that one, that one, but not that one or that one. And which one's your favorite? This one. This one? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of that one, so I guess she has a lot of experience going on these rides, and it looks like she enjoys them. <laughs> yeah. uh, can you tell us what this ride is? I, I can't tell. It's a bouncy house. It's a bouncy house. And what's your favorite part about the bouncy house? That it's... There's slides. There's slides? Mm -hmm. huh. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, look, I'm barely tall enough. Barely tall enough. Barely. Well. It's just hard being so short, isn't it? Yes, I have short girl problems. Well, at least you don't have tall people problems. Yeah. Well, I love where we're setting the scene here on Teens on the Scene, and we, I just want to go ahead and thank Sierra Baptist Shirts once again mm -hmm. for making the show happen. And remember the 4th of July Carnival and VBS from the 6th to the 10th. And there's also a few other things that we're going to go ahead and check out here at the Italian Picnic Grounds. Remember, it's the 135th, and I mean, they've been doing it for so long. <laughs> I mean, it's an Amador County tradition. Everyone comes out for it. It's a great event. I think it's just as great as the duck race. Just as great, yes. Just as great. And we're probably going to go catch some people playing bingo. And, uh, you know, maybe the we'll even join in on it. part of the Italian Picnic, bingo. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go ahead and continue. All right.
So, how is bingo going for you guys? All right, so far. All right, so far. It's blackout. Blackout? We're, yeah, we're trying to get the whole card oh, wow. full. So. Does blackout take a while? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very and we, right? Three, two. Uh oh. Okay. We really want to win a salami. Oh, it's that, is that always the prize here? Oh, yeah. Salamis? Or wine if you're over 21. Okay. Yeah, we wouldn't qualify for that and neither would the teens, so. Right. Yeah. The salami is good though. Oh, that's good. So have you guys been having a good time today? Yeah. Oh yeah. We just got here a little bit ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and loop around. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, right. Wow, looks like you have a lot of cards there. They're playing yeah. Blackout. Can you tell us your name? Robert Shell. And it looks like you have five. I mean, that looks like a lot. <laughs> have you had any luck today? I won a salami. I oh, won a he did win a salami. How awesome. Now they're playing Blackout, so you gotta get the whole thing. Well, I, I think you'll have good salami. luck with five, five cards. Sounds like it's good, some good luck there. Yeah, well, hey, it's. I've never won anything with the brown cards. I always win with the green cards. Oh, is this? Huh. I need a green is there a certain card. luck? A certain green luck with card. the green certain luck with go. the cards? Uh, there has been for me. I what 15 years, and I've never won with a green card. But I've, I mean, I've never won with a brown card. <laughs> well, I mean, we see we have an A for non, so that obviously means something. Yes, uh, means that I am a member of the Italian Benevolent Society. Actually, I'm the president this year. Oh wow, yeah. see? Yes. No. It's like a uniform, per se. Uh, well, I'm, I'm wearing an apron for the bingo so I can keep the money in my pocket. <laughs> if I'm not cooking anything, you wouldn't want to eat anything I cooked. And your name is Paul, right? I'm Paul Molinelli, Jr. So does this mean you're a bingo official? Well, I, this, is t this is my assignment for tonight. You know, tomorrow night I will be selling drink tickets in the chicken and ravioli dinner. Because this actually goes on all weekend, right? It goes on all weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the grounds open up at noon. I think they got the, you know, carnival and the music, live music. Tomorrow night's the chicken and ravioli dinner, which I believe is sold out. And then Sunday at 10:30 is the parade in downtown Sutter Creek, followed by a delicious tri-tip barbecue, which there is no pre-reserved tickets for that. That's ten dollars a person. That's on Sunday after the parade. And so, what is your favorite part of? Doing the Italian picnic every year. What is my favorite part of it? I think doing this, we can, you know, mingle with the people I and see who's here and get outside I and get nice fresh air. And seven. Mother Nature only went to the bathroom on us once, so <laughs> so far it. Uh, That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so far it probably scared you with that little beeper and thing, but yeah, so it's this nice, just well, hanging out with the people and. Everybody everybody have a good time. The community appreciates it, I know. Everyone loves to come out here every year and have oh, a good time. Yes, yes. Even though it's uh, graduation oh, tonight, you know, at both of the, you know, Amador and Argonaut High Schools, uh, the turnout is pretty good. You know, we're, we're happy with the turnout tonight, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people tomorrow night. So if people didn't get out tonight, they've got tomorrow, all day tomorrow, and tomorrow night and most of the day Sunday. I think that's great. I mean, once you get to the 135th, I mean, it must be good. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, this is what, like only our second episode? So hopefully one day we can say we're on our 135th episode. And I, was not, I was not here for the first one, so. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we could say we were there for the first one. <laughs> I mean, 135, I mean 135 years ago. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, that would be crazy. But I mean, who knows, you could do like three Italian picnics in one year, and then you could have, you could have been to the first one. I could have been in another could life. Could have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking thank with you, us. This is messed up. Okay. Oh no! You got the good to go. Okay, here. All right, so like count of three, I guess. Yeah, let's try staying together. Okay, one, two, two three. No! 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 Valerie. Valerie. Okay. And what are you painting? It looks like maybe like a skull? Skull. Yes. Okay. And why did you choose that? Because it looks cool. Because it looks cool? Yeah, that's a good answer. Cool is the new thing. <laughs> so is this your first time doing face painting at the yeah, Italian yeah, picnic? Third year. Your third year. Yeah. Third, third year. year. Okay, and why do you enjoy face painting so much? I love the kids and it's fun. fun. And what got you into it? Uh, 
I helped out a friend one time and then I, I really liked it, so I just started doing it on my own. Oh, that's awesome. oh look! There's the little girl again! <laughs> and she has cotton candy. Our fairy cotton candy princess. Fairy cotton candy princess. Fairy oh, cotton candy princess. It looks like all the kids are enjoying their face paint. Yes, here on Kids Day. Looks so. And then we also have a Spider Man and he's eating his cotton. Oh my gosh, little Spider Man eating cotton candy. How adorable is that? <laughs> You don't see that very often. A superhero eating cotton candy. Only half his face. I guess I they have to. Yeah, yeah I mean, I guess they have to um, take a break sometime yeah. and maybe eat some cotton candy. Yeah, can't always be a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still a superhero? I'm still a superhero. Yeah, he could stop eating and become a superhero again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because you eat does not mean so. Like, even though superheroes have to eat too. Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> even little Spider-Man. Okay. Um, yeah. We might want to... I haven't had cotton candy in a long time. What about you? Uh, sure. I, I, can you get some cotton candy? Oh, sure? sure? No, I said I haven't had cotton candy in a long time. And you're like, sure. And I was sure. like, wait, what? I, I thought you were asking if I wanted cotton candy. Oh, you want cotton candy. Well, let's go see, I guess. Should we ask? Should we talk to them and then get cotton candy? It's free cotton candy. I have, I have money. Hi. Hi. Yes, we see a bunch of cute little kids with their face painting and they're eating cotton candy. So we just named this little girl a cotton candy princess. A co no, it was a fairy cotton candy fairy princess. Cotton, sorry, fairy cotton, fairy cotton, cotton candy princess. princess. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like we have like uh, look at her. She's like all like she looks pretty like a fairy cotton candy princess. You're a fairy cotton candy princess too. I think that's our thing. It's dreams come true. Uh, everybody, hashtag fairy cotton candy princess if your dreams are coming true, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know that cotton candy only has one teaspoon of sugar in it. A giant pillow of this has about 50 calories. It's sugar and air. That's so it. How, how do you make cotton candy? I've never like, can you show us? You yeah, can we come back there? Is yeah, that possible? Absolutely. That'd be awesome. Okay, so the sugar is poured into there. A little bit of sugar is poured inside here. And just a little bit will make a lot of cotton candy. And, and what else? Is it just sugar? Just sugar and a little bit of coloring to create the, the pink or the blue. Really? Wow, okay. And that's why it only has 50 calories. For a great big giant pillow. We're going to have to have some. As soon as it heats up and blocks out, some of it we might get in your hair too. So. <laughs> Andrew can take all the cotton candy out of my hair. Did you know that the Pine Grove Civic Improvement Club is doing an event on 4th of July this year? It's called Groovin' in the Grove, and we're going to have our cotton candy machine there. It's a free music event right there in the town, uh, in the park, across the street from the town hall. It's going to be so much fun. That's awesome. Yeah. This is so cool. I want a cotton candy machine. <laughs> I can't imagine just having a cotton candy machine at home. Whoa! Uh, I, can you make him a blue one? Well, we've got pink in there right now. You can't change the colors very fast. Oh, okay. You can have a pink one too. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Got that good breeze in his hair. Well, this, this humid weather is the enemy of cotton candy. It, 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 makes, it makes it get sticky. I think I have it all over my face. We got to learn how to. Hold on, I want to stand next to him real quick. Do I have cotton candy? Ooh, do I have cotton candy on my face? I feel like it. Go with sparkly. Sparkly! Sparkly. Cotton candy! <laughs> it's so fluffy! You know what <laughs> an ice cream booth, and so can you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, we're Munderland's Ice Cream. We're located in Pine Grove, and we've been there almost seven years now. And uh, we've got six flavors tonight. Uh, we've got. Uh, Mango sorbet, vanilla, dream sickle, which is like an orange vanilla. We have a, a, a uh, looks good. Cherry amaretto, which is my favorite. It's uh, got uh, Bing cherries and uh, roasted almonds in there. It's incredible. We usually only make that during the holidays. We have a Swiss chocolate and uh, cookies and cream. Which would you like to taste? Uh, uh, there are so many. Uh, I just kind of forgot. You gotta pick one. <laughs> so, uh, I don't but, know. You wanna try my favorite? I, sure. Yeah. Well. Uh, you make all your ice cream, don't you? Yeah, we make it all by hand. We've done over 125 flavors, and um, we've been there almost seven years now. Is it good? She's still processing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think that means it's good. We made that special for the. Italian Here, he has to try it too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I can ask him. <laughs> same one. You want to try the same one or sure. different one? I'll try the same one. Hello. Right. Well, 
And then what was the orange kind you said? Uh, it's a dream sickle. It's like an orange vanilla or a, like a 50-50 bar, you know. Oh, awesome. Yeah. It's different. I've never tried anything like it's it. It's really good. Yeah. What was that one called again? It's cherry amaretto. We usually only make that during the holidays, but we made it special for the the Italian picnic here. And uh, sort of, an, it's got an Italian flair to it, so. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and so, um, but it's been nice just to be able to make any kind of ice cream you want at any time, uh, right? Yeah, we've uh, we've made a lot of a lot of flavors over the years. We have a lot of custom flavors, and we 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 like to do a lot of uh, old traditional flavors that people haven't had in years, like black licorice and you know. Well, everyone around here knows Munner Lens and knows that it's good ice cream. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, oh, thank you. and that was thank delicious. You. Have a great day. You too. You too. We'll be here all. So, what's your name? Yeah. I'm Randy. And what do we have here? This is Easy Toe Camper Rentals. Easy we toe. rent we rent teardrop campers. Teardrop campers. So, what is a teardrop camper? Why don't you tell us about it? It's shaped, like a, it's shaped like a teardrop. It's a historical design from post World War II. This is the modern version. In fact, this is the state of the art of teardrop campers right here. So, if, if we walk around it, it's got a queen size bed. I don't a queen size. Queen, queen size, size bed. bed. Queen size bed. Entertainment center with a flat screen TV. So, what do you think the benefits of our any one of these are? Well, it's easy to tow. Easy to tow. It's very easy to park. It's simple to use. You don't have to dump holding tanks. Yuck. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about propane and hookups and everything. Very simple to use. Very simple. Well, it looks like it'd be comfortable for a good we weekend of camping. It has an air conditioner. It, oh, there, there's a there's a kitchen. <laughs> And I just saw an air conditioner and heater in there as well. So it looks like it has all the commodities that you'd need. Yep. <laughs> all the creature comforts. All the creature comforts. Yep. That's, that's awesome. And we're located right in Cedar Creek. All right. Oh, cool. And how many of these do you have? We have three of them. Three? Three. Okay. And so how much would it cost to rent one of these? 169 for a weekend package. A weekend? That's it? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's not that bad. It's a good deal for a weekend trip. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about, you know, if we ever go on a weekend. And it can be towed by most small cars. Lots of advantages. Yeah. Well, think about that. It sounds like a fun weekend. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks for coming by. Oh, perfect. She's my height. That's why he handed the mic to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's your name? Diana. We we are the same height. Here, let, let's test this. I'm probably shorter. I'm 5'3", so... I'm 5, okay. She wins. She obviously wins. Okay, so I see you guys make homemade stuff. Yep. And it's Italian, yep. so why not? <laughs> exactly. And how long have you guys been here doing this? Um, at the Italian picnic? Yes, just in general, not like just today, but you know, just like how many times have you guys I'm been coming? I'm not sure. He would know the answer to that. What? How long have you guys set up a booth here? It's our first year. First year? first year? Awesome. Well, it's yeah. nice to have authentic stuff at a place like this. Well, everything smells good here, so what all do you have? Uh, we have the Italian sausage. We have a sriracha sausage, which is a little kick to it. Sure. I know I love sriracha. And then we've been selling <laughs> like crazy the hog fries. They're normal fries, and then you put pulled pork on top with cheese and jalapenos. Those we have done like crazy. It sounds kind of gross, but when you have it, it's amazing. Oh, it sounds good. I think it sounds, it sounds good. I like the jalapeno part. <laughs> exactly. That's what I top mine all with. Jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like nachos. Just put a big thing of jalapenos exactly. on it. Yes. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. And um, Well, uh, we actually had to come back because they want us to try the hog, hog fries. fries. Hog fries. Hog fries. How does it look? It looks good. Put a lot on there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The fries part sounds good. It does good. I'm good. Well, we will let you know what we think. There's jalapenos. Jalapenos are important. We obviously have to like it. We have to. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. A lot of food. Do you, you want to, like, have us... We'll display this. We'll display it. Okay. All right, here, try fry. Try it. Just try one. Just try fry. Hold on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Is that good? Those are really good. No, try it. Uh. <laughs> no wonder why they give you a fork. What do you think? That is quality. Right? Quality. I like it. Mm -hmm. Quality. Good. Gourmet fudge. Right, so. Gourmet. And so, what all do you have here? 
I have over 40 flavors. You can eat it with a spoon. You can melt it, dip strawberries, apples in it, pour it over ice cream, cheesecake. Um, take it to a party. They'll ask you to come back. Well, wow. I, I saw the bacon chocolate fudge. Yes, that I saw that too. And I also make um, bacon peanut brittle. Oh, wow. And then I see watermelon fudge. I've oh, never heard of anything good. like that. Oh, my gosh. Chocolate mint fudge. Wow. Look and, at all these choices. The you can put in your hot chocolate. Oh, wow. And bubblegum fudge. I have flavor. never heard of anything like bubblegum fudge. I lead a very fudgy life. <laughs> I, I like, like, she has the keys to the candy store. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> well, what's your favorite thing out of your assortments? Whatever the best seller is. And what is the best seller at the moment? It's usually the chocolate bacon. Is chocolate the best bacon. Well, that's a big draw. It's right on the sign. Yeah. And, and I keep the pumpkin year round because people like to put a spoonful in their hot coffee or put it on pancakes, waffles, hot cinnamon rolls right out of the oven or just eat it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Wow. Awesome. And I see you also have a sour warm dirt fudge how cute i know my sisters would love these these are adorable and then just regular that's awesome how creative so what got you started in doing this well when you get a sick husband this is what you have to do and um i was making fudge when i was a kid but then i just started and then i just came up with more and more flavors so. that's awesome thank you they all look really good Nah, dang. Thank you, and if you want to taste something. Okay, I'm, well, let, let's look around at them. I mean, like, I want to look from this angle. <laughs> let's read some. Do you want to taste the bubble gum? Or? Butterscotch, Rocky Road. It's like ice cream in a fudge. Yeah, you can melt it and pour it over ice cream. <laughs> that sounds awesome. You're too young to know what a creamsicle is. I, I know a creamsicle. But you melt the orange one over vanilla ice cream, and you have a 50-50 bar. Oh, Sounds oh, really jalapeno good. fudge. How does that jalapeno. happen? Is it hot? Um, to some people it is, but you can melt it over popcorn, Fritos, corn chips, and then you watch your <laughs> friends' faces. That sounds so good. Oh my gosh, that sounds interesting. I don't know. What do you want to try? Uh, I I think I'll try a watermelon. What about you? Watermelon. Okay, that sounds interesting. Raspberry dream fudge. Watermelon. Oh, it looks like, look, little, little um, chocolate chips to represent the seeds. That is so cute. Yeah. Here, yeah, Andrew can try. Does it taste like watermelon? Tastes like watermelon. Tastes like watermelon? That's awesome. It's good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Was it good? It was good. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Tom Esposito. Tom Esposito. Society. <laughs> And we have a game here sponsored by the Columbus Lawn Bee Company, right? That's right. And if you pay $2, you get five throws to hit that salami. Throwing you what? You get a free salami every time you hit it. And um, what are you throwing? Pardon? What are you throwing? A potato. Oh, you're throwing potatoes. Okay. Tell you what. Give her, give her, give her, give her a do a freebie. No, no, no. You so, have to do some of this. Okay. Get her on so, camera. Come on. Here we go. Right here, you stand on the magic carpet. And if, if you rub the carpet, it might take off on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Give it the best. You throw. can do it. You can hit. Hit it so long. Sure. Oh! Ah! So long. Woo! <coughs> Almost had another one. Okay. Dinner's at her house tonight. She's got the salami. No kidding. Can you try? Can you try? go. Here, you go right now. Okay, I, I compete against him. <laughs> That's All the right. girl right here. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Ah, you got this, Andrew. Woo! Come on, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're salami winners. You always seem to win. <laughs> On the first try. <laughs> like, I, I got that with the basketball and then also with the duck right <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, tails. <laughs>
<laughs> we won it. Okay, hold on. But, but what's your name? I'm David Camardo. And what's your name? Joe. Joe. So we have Joe and David, and they are going to be teaching us how to. You have to excuse me. I, 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 I'm hard to hear. Okay. So, oh, he totally ditched us. Okay, come on. He's going to throw the plane, huh? all right? And it, he's got to, wherever he lands, you and I have to get closer. Okay, so we just roll it? So, now, now it'll be our throw, okay? When we get closer, then they throw, okay? If we don't get closer, then we got to throw again. Okay. So we so continue to throw until we beat them. Okay, where's our, our balls right here? Are you ready? Yeah, I'll do one. So what, I just roll it? Easy, the quarter's closer than my ball to the plino. The quarter's real fast, so you want to roll it, not throw it, you want to roll it. But I have to do it past him, right? You have to get past him. Go ahead. <laughs> I think this is the one thing that I might suck at. I think I'll do it. Okay, well. <laughs> do you do it like a bowling ball? No, no, very easy, very gently. Because it hit the back wall. And it's you never told me about the rules. <laughs> okay, but you have to go again. Oh, nobody told me rules. I didn't think there was. Okay. You're supposed to get closer to the polino than my ball, and throwing it against the wall isn't doing it. You've got to go over there with the polino and my ball. Easy. of this game to get close Every who gets, whoever's every, the closest wins everyone who gets close gets points okay well we're, we're, we're attempting to learn yeah we're attempting an attempt all right <laughs> there, there, that's that's professional throw right there <laughs> i was i think that's what he's supposed to do whoa, whoa, wait you didn't. Point. Ah, so. What if we run out of balls? Is the game over? I, I don't know. What if we run out of balls? Is the game over? Well, when we're out, then they get to throw the rest of theirs, and they'll get nothing but points. We're gonna get whooped. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. Man, there's the professional, all right. All we can hope for is that they don't get any closer than that, then they'll only get one point. But if they get closer, then they'll get more points. Go, Andrew! I'm a good sport! <laughs> oh, look at that up-pro. How are you doing so good, Andrew? I, I, I don't know. I, I, am, I, am I doing good? I think so. I, I think you're doing a finely loved job. <laughs> well, I, I can't do the salami throwing, so. <laughs> you know, I think that I Andrew, somehow. Yeah, I think Andrew's having a good time because he's actually had a smile on his face tonight. <laughs> you, uh, you act like that's an accomplishment, is it? It is. It is. Having a smile on your face is, because you're my sidekick ATM. Oh, I'm sorry I don't smile enough. No, you do. Look, you're smiling right now. Hello. And you've got another ball, and I have another ball. Two points. Okay. Go ahead. I you have fine. You got a point. zero. Zero. Okay, Andrew. He does it as he says. No, no, no. Come over here. I just gently hit the wall. There's a lot of point. All right. Those red balls are not relevant. They're out. So we have two points. Just get within. I yeah. Guess I, I guess I did good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I got a swampy though. What do you get? <laughs> you get bragging rights. Okay. Uh, 
I think we learned how to do balachi. <laughs> I don't even know how you say it. Bache. Bache. It's so fluffy. No. No. It's so fluffy. Right. Three points. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh. I don't know if we have time. Did I do the right one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. I, I like number seven. Can I do it on number seven? Oh, I like that one. You like? <gasps> Whoa! He has my other favorite number. Alrighty. You have my other favorite number? Is that her favorite number? Her other favorite number? My two favorite numbers are seven and fifteen. I just put seven. He just put fifteen. That's 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 great. Okay. We're gonna do another come around. You know this is my first time on a Ferris wheel. Aww. Oh. We have another come around, hi. hi. Well guys, you have it here on Teens in the Scene. We had an awesome time being able to set the scene here at the 135th Italian Picnic Day with you guys. We had a great day. We got to go on rides and have food and it was a good, good yeah, time. Yeah, a bunch of different experiences to be able to enjoy. And come on, look at this sunset. It is so gorgeous. I, I can't even get over it. <laughs> well remember, it runs all weekend. Be sure to come up here and see all that's going on. Yeah, and enjoy it because it's 135th and uh, we know we did and we hope you, we see you next time when we go ahead and set the scene somewhere else on Teens on the Scene. All right. Bye, Bye guys.